Hey people, welcome to BK Jazz Dance. It's a picture of me, um, an activist, a dance activist. I'm a pioneer of UK Jazz Dance. This is the 45th year, 2020 is the 45th year, me being a pioneer, champion, director, producer, <coughs> writer, archiver, preserver. All my life, what's happened, African diaspora arts has been stereotyped, stigmatised by Western society as violent, <clears throat> macho, etc. And it's been unacceptable for me to allow this to happen as an activist. So I want to share some information with individuals. In the African diaspora world, we created dances, and the damn dances were created to bond us in a larger community as a smaller group, to enable us to stand out, to improve our health and well-being, bond females and females together, males and males together, the group together, Build lifelong friendship is what our arts do and bring about social cohesion, bring about opportunities for other cultures to engage in our dance. That's what Lindy Hop did and that's what UK Jazz did, which is an umbrella term for a number of UK undergraduates and styles. That's what he did. He improved us socially, physically, intellectually, culturally, emotionally, spiritually, made us more politically aware of the environment that we were living in. Now, what people need to understand in our communities, our parents taught us to use our dance talents to develop our upright characters and personalities. Have people got that? Western society stereotyped us, said that the dance that we did shaped negative characteristics, negative personality traits. That is a fabrication. In 2003, Mr Plunkett identified hip-hop was to blame for the antisocial behaviour of white youth in Britain and people around the world. That's a lie and a fabrication. You have to know history. Our dances bring people together. The difference to 2020, dance is at the centre of cultural life in academia, identified as preventing what heart disease, preventing what dementia, preventing ill health, low moods, helping depression, overcoming shyness. I could go on. There's a whole host of benefits dance brings. And who's the number one innovators of these dances? African dance with people. I need to just stop there at this moment. One of the key things that's happened in the dance world, because it's gone to commercialization, commercialized bastardizes the culture and stops the, the natural growth or organic growth of the culture, shaping people's character and personalities. So what's happened now, because commercialization has come, people are using the dance, yeah, they're using the dance to show off, off, off uh, look down on people. So what's happening now, if you can't dance in certain quarters now, you're looked down on as someone is inferior. This is what's happening. Yeah, and that happened from the day commercialization, studio dancing came. This is what it brought. It didn't bring a natural organic development of the dance. People lost perspective. It came about money. And what happens is when money is just invested in dance development, what happens is you have, we're the good ones, you're the bad ones. That's not what our culture is about. It was a, a social dance. Our dances were social dances that were meant to bring about social development of the whole community to help it survive for people to learn about improvisation, for people to learn about being spontaneous, people to learn about being free-spirited, for people to take this dance and use it as a vehicle to say, this is me, this is what we do, how we do it, why we do it, communicate. So, for example, I've been involved in a lot of multicultural dance and music events. We use dance as a vehicle to get to know each other better in bigger, bolder, better ways. Have people got that? UK Jazz Dance Art.